Hello everyone, this is a very brief uh, video for one of my uh, YouTube viewers who's uh, asked some questions about configuring the Tint2 panel and specifically the border, the white border that uh, you can see here on the Tint2 panel and also the way that uh, the, uh, the minimized, um, minimized applications appear and specifically how to, to stop text appearing and just have the icon. So rather than uh, rather write a long diatribe on uh, on how to achieve this, I thought it was easier to do a quick video. So what you want to do is go into your menu, go down to Preferences, go down to Tint2, you want Edit Tint2, and you want the GUI Tint2 Editor. So it's this one here. When you launch that, it'll bring up all your installed Tint2 cod files, display them, and the currently running Tint2 panel configuration will be highlighted here at the top. So you want to go into Edit, that launches our edit window, which we can see here. And so the first thing you want to do is if you want to move the border from the top to the bottom. So for example, if you had the panel at the top of the screen, you may want the uh, the, uh, the the border to appear at the bottom of the panel. Uh, then what you would go in and you would select the item you wish to edit at the top. So here it would be, where are we here? Let's have a look. It will be panel because it's the panel we want to edit. And then down at the bottom here you can see border width and border sides. So this is telling you where the border will be placed. So here it says top. If we untick top and we tick bottom and we click apply, you'll see that the border has now moved to the bottom. Now if you had the panel therefore at the top of the screen that would make far more sense. And so that's how you would uh, you would uh, achieve that. So let's just put that back. Obviously in this instance we don't want that. There we are. And the second thing I was asked was about these uh, these kind of launch uh, launcher icons down here with the text. So if you don't want to see the text, uh, then what you do is you go into Task Buttons, and under Appearance you can see it's a Show Icon Show Text. So if you untick Show Text and apply, the text will disappear. Now on this particular configuration, there is obviously a lot of space here around the remaining icons. That's because I like to have the text displayed. You can shrink those down. So here you'll see in the in the categories below here, you've got uh, minimum width, minimum height, horizontal padding, etc. You'd play around with those in order to get the uh, the, the visuals and the positioning to your uh, to your um, to your liking. So that's just a very quick video just to explain that. Uh, so it was for one of the viewers, but uh, others may may well find that interesting. Um, so there we are. Bye for now.